Welcome back to our Dabble edition of City Line. We are here with Nicholas Rosashi, the one and only DIY guy for Dabble Mag. And you are going to show us how to make a do-it-yourself etagere. Yes, I am. For those of you at home thinking, what did she just say? <laughs> what We're the going to explain <laughs> what that is. Yes, indeed. An etagere actually originated in France in the late 18th century. And essentially, it's a long shelving unit that has long, tall, slender, sexy legs, much like you, Tracy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and they usually it. have a couple of, like, open shelves that are kind of more stages for displaying small chic objects of art so really elegant DIY that we have here for you today okay you've really funked it up though I love the, oh, the pieces you. of furniture that you used for yours so take a look at this right now this is sort of um, a modern funky version of an, of an etagere oh absolutely we wanted to give it a whole new kind of uber modern sort of twist love so it. what I actually did was I went to a yard sale and it's the perfect season right now to really go hunting for chic pieces so like I said before you want to look for a piece that really has has great legs because that's going to give you the height in between the tables to really sort of display a whole variety of objects. What I love about this project is that you can sort of do a whole bunch of different finishes with it. So we decided to actually go with a crackle finish on this one and a white lacquer finish on the bottom and we did an orange one and we did a blue one but we mixed finishes so this one's done in matte that's gloss and that's a really really super shiny semi gloss so if you can imagine these maybe in a washroom all done in white how phenomenal would that look with all your toiletries staged beautifully yes. or perhaps in a hallway behind a damask wallpaper would also be really sophisticated beautiful the complicated thing yeah. which is the one thing that a lot of people are sort of freaked out about they're like well how did you cut them in half so I'm gonna say don't worry about that because a lot of the big box stores like Home Depot and Lowe's offer an inexpensive cutting service so for like $10, they can take the table, run it through the table saw for you, so you don't have to worry about losing any fingers or anything like that. If you're like me, who always has like costume jewelry on, there's no fear. It's like totally not going to like kill you or anything like that. So have fun with this, but definitely take advantage of some cool techniques. A lot of people are back into faux finishes. They're totally in vogue again, so crackle is where it's at right now. So. You're going to show us how to do the crackle. I am. And yes, the crackle I am. is what you see there on the yellow. You've yes. Got a, you've got a table down there that we're going to we work on right now. And I'm actually going to show you what this looks like so you can get a better feel of what you can find at a yard sale. So very typical table, kind of seen better days. It's mm -hmm. not so wow anymore. We took the table and we didn't even sand it or anything. We just sprayed it with a coat of spray paint. So I'm actually going to give it a little bit of a spray. It's a beautiful orange. I love the fact Quick that you spray. didn't have to sand it at all. No sanding. Well, this is that's like great. really easy breezy DIY, and that's the magic of DIY. It shouldn't be overcomplicated. Right. So don't be scared by all this stuff. Have fun. Release your inner DIY diva. All right. She's then, in there somewhere. She is. She's in everybody. So after yeah. that dries for about an hour, because you want to let the spray paint dry for the base coat, okay. you're going to take the crackle medium that you can get at Michael's, and you're going to brush it on with a brush. Do you want to do the honors, Tracy? Oh, sure. There you so go I'm up. just brushing this over top. Yes, indeed. And big, thick kind of brush strokes. Okay. The globier that it is in places is where you're going to get more defined crackle. Oh, really? So am I just kind of plopping yeah, it down? Yeah, there's no real art to it and stuff like that. All right, they like my technical term. I'm just <laughs> plopping it down. There it's you go. Sound That's how you do it properly. Woo! And then how long does it take this to dry? This actually you don't want to dry. You oh. want it to like okay. 15 minutes or so until it's a little bit tacky to the touch. Yeah. Then you're going to take, this is a great product, it's by Delta, also available at Michael's, and it's a cream acrylic coat. So you're not going to use spray paint over top of the crackle because it won't be elasticized, so it won't crack the right way. Okay. This will. So this comes in like, I think, 32 different designer colors. So you'll take that and a brush, okay. and we're gonna, you know, through the magic of TV. If it was real life, that would be dry. It would be 15 minutes, or if you have a blow dryer. Last night I used a blow dryer, and that worked really well, and I did my hair too, so. <laughs> <laughs> then you can sort of brush it on. You're too cute. And you'll, oh, thank you, Tracy. And you'll start to see the crackles actually appearing, but they're not gonna happen full-fledged for about an hour. So don't stand in front of it and go, why isn't it crackling? Because you'll drive yourself mad. So crack is whack. I was gonna do just like that too. Uh, okay, beautiful. Very easy DIY. We you like to it. put all the instructions uh, for your great projects on our website. Oh, so you. go to cityline.ca and we'll link you in. Thank you, Nicholas. You're most welcome. Now Such a we've, pleasure. we've got this gorgeous thing going on and you're thinking to yourself, it needs a little something. So please welcome Christine DeCoste, everyone. Give her a hand. First day on Cityline, you're with Dabble Men. 
Meg, you're a contributor. Yeah, design contributor. Very much into design and decor. Yes, we know nice. that. So I see your tweets all the time. You love the glam stuff course, in decor. So this is really right up your alley. Exactly. Yes, it is. And so when I like to start to begin to style a shelf, I like to look at the personality of it or the room or the person I'm styling for. So in this case, it's very funky, very modern, very Nicholas. Yes. So we're going to try to personify his personality. Okay. So when I style a shelf, when I begin, I like to think of layers. Yeah. Because layers and different varying heights of accessories adds visual interest on the shelf. Very nice. So you know, a lot of a lot of you stylists do this, and and designers, you always have a couple of pieces, but in varying heights. And exactly. It's just really pleasing to the eye, right? That's right. Exactly. One alone would not look the same as having two there together. That's right. And then books, Tracy. Books are your best friend when it comes to accessorizing. Yeah, absolutely. And when you put books on the horizontal, it gives it a less formal look. And don't be afraid to put something on top of exactly. those Exactly. Well. Something that reflects your personality or that really, you know, makes you happy. But when you put books on the vertical, mm -hmm. it provides a little bit more symmetry. And a lot of people like symmetry because if their house is full of chaos, they have kids' toys all over the place, then just adding matching bookends adds a little bit of symmetry balance and calmness is Very what cool. I like to say. So I wonder what all this says about Nicholas so far. Are we saying he's an elephant? <laughs> or that he wants to go to Africa. Oh yeah, or that he's a little glam, right? Exactly. Because that's a very glam looking that's elephant. Right. I love it. So now you're going to put some vases? Yes. Now think of the rules of threes. The rules yes. of threes, always odd numbers. So we like to add things in threes, or you could do fives, but this just adds again a visual element. So always think rules of threes. Okay. And I like the fact that you've used the space underneath as well. Exactly, nice. exactly. The other thing is don't don't be afraid to personalize your shelves. Here we've added a photo of us at the Dabble launch party. Just add some fun Cheers. that people can see your personality. Right. And know exactly a little bit of who you are. And then of course decorative items. Don't forget to add um, scale mm -hmm. and a little bit of, you know, whimsy to the items. Very nice. And, and you know it. what? I like the fact that you haven't stuck with one particular color theme. You're sort of all over the place, but it all works together. Yeah, this one is, a, is as I said, it's a bit more funky. Yeah. It reflects a little bit of who Nicholas is as, you know, as a person. So we just like to, you know, add a lot of color, a lot of different elements, and just unique items that personalize who he really is as a person. So this is sort of the modern, flashy Nicholas Rosashi version. We exactly. also have a very traditional version um, of an etagere right here. That's right. And this is what a lot of people would think of when they think of an etagere. It's uh, it's traditional. It's very symmetrical. You've styled it sort of conservatively, but still with a nice little dose of glam in there as well. That's right. right. Like there's no right or wrong when it comes to the two. They follow yeah. the same principles, the layering, symmetry, the the rules of the threes but it's just a little bit more formal. The finishes are more conservative. So, yeah, but it's a beautiful piece, and thanks to LT for providing this. Absolutely. And, and so, as I said, there isn't a right or wrong. It's really what is your personality. Thank you, Christine. You're welcome. Let's go to break. We've got more coming up. Stay with us.